to the internet, everybody, and this channel. Welcome to this channel. I'm JC Janos, and this is Butterfly Square Garden. Started a while ago when the idea came up about how nice and beautiful butterflies are and how everyone should have them in their lives, and that's why. If you want to learn how to make this, I guess that's what this is. Let me show you how to make it. Ooh, that's a good image. I like that's so pretty. And it's got a little back on it. Ooh, wow. <laughs>
think it's cheating, but artists cheat. What can I say? Um, <laughs> so, mix, 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 mix. This is called Smith. Listen to music offline. YouTube Art Music Premium. Uh, Start a one month free trial. And I really want to use this. Uh,
without showing anyone because you're not allowed to do stuff like that when you're a boy. But Franco. <laughs> Or buy the latest hit movies on your go to app for videos. Find it all on YouTube. Uh, it, there's a science behind it.
got a fresh board right here. We've got our butterflies. I've got a whole bunch of uh, tracing paper and we've got pins. This is just a styrofoam uh, piece of, you know, mounting board. It's styrofoam with a dent in it so that you can paint it. set it up better. it in place while I grab two more pins and I'm gonna move the antenna into a spot that is fanciful which really is just a little V you want it sticking straight up if you've ever seen a butterfly watch live and local news on a variety of networks with YouTube TV try it free sticking straight up and then you want the wings to be lifted up so that the bottom part is about perpendicular to the abdomen.
extra movements, just like you would with like anything else. So again, I'm very happy. side and the right side so that it doesn't move doing the same things on the other side Very nice. movie night starts in three two one rent or buy the latest hit movies on youtube watch the biggest blockbusters family favorites laugh out loud comedies and more no way. watch on the youtube app you can even stream select titles for free with ads. Your favorite place for videos is your new home for movies. Find your next movie on YouTube. Isn't really giving me much to work with. By the way, it's drawing on the right side of the brain, one of the most important
just the uh, original content. That's that's what the the, the tune is. Okay, that was close. Sometimes the little bottom part will be so mushy oh, you know, that in the last in the last video. I know something about me cause you call me Wonder if I see it in your eyes You just wanna give me cause you're lonely You just wanna be there by your side first my hands were shaking I didn't know where to go I didn't know anything but I, I just wanted to start and I have so many now like I don't even have time to pin them all down it's all piling up so I really just need help with that Thank you. 
but there. Um, when I first started and I would put the pins in and the styrofoam would squeak, it would raise the hair on my neck, but it's, I'm, I'm like, I like it now. So I'm Mr. Beast, the did. host of YouTube's Creator, Creator Games 2. Watch! Now, let's count. I did how many so far? We got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ooh. If I want to have 12, that means I've got a... Uh, I've got others. There, there are some that I didn't even use from the last one. So that's enough for uh, the next piece that I want to do. Uh, just like this one. It's a shame that I don't have the last one that I made because it was so much better than this. It had 12 and they were in three lines and they had more space in between them. And I picked out all the best butterflies and it was in a bigger frame and it had a smaller edge. So it was just like all butterflies um, with a perfect view and I was you know you get better at making these so it's like this is just a sheet of paper um, and the reason it's there is such you can get a good view otherwise it's like you can't even see what's going on but it's important that you have the ability so for the newer one I put on little velcro pieces which if I could show you over here I had like a board and it was nice and it had these little stickers which was velcro so you could literally velcro off the back and um, so that's what I want to do next we have enough of these dried butterflies we just did a wonderful job making them uh, we have to wait about five days before they're dry enough and then we're going to take the needles out of the board and we're going to take the paper away and we will transfer the butterflies to the shadow box and the trick that I use to keep everything in place is a hot glue gun that is what every person who is crafting in any way should have especially if you have children all right so let's get this out of the way and move on to the next part of the art class we've got 20 minutes left of class, everybody. So, I guess I'll do a quick introduction uh, uh, since we haven't drawn together yet and this is gonna be our first time drawing together. I used to teach uh, for three years, kindergarten through sixth grade, how to draw and Drawing is important because it is a way that we express ourselves as humans. It is a very distinctly human trait, right? If you want to do anything, you need to learn how to drink, how to think, drink, think objectively. How do I, you know, there's, there's like a, a spatial awareness that you have to have and a knowledge of the way that your brain interprets visual information in order to translate that onto a paper um, this book does a wonderful job of doing that it's got exercises and it's just uh, laid out in, in like perfect English of how how to do this and if you think that you can't draw you can anyone can and you can learn how in just a matter of days if you just learn how to think correctly it's just a matter of, of like shifting your perception from linguistic to spatial and the reason that most people have trouble doing that is because they first of all don't know that they can and second of all the the first part is that we have a mode of acting the, the linguistic part wants to pick up these tasks and work on them, but it's terribly suited for drawing. And that's where you have to cross over into this other dimension, which is nonverbal. It's, it's very spatial oriented. It's, it's, not, it's not based in time. Um, the only way that you can get there if you're unfamiliar with it is you have to give the linguistic task oriented perceptive mode a task that it will reject which is what drawing is and that's why when you start drawing you can i, I don't want to project anything onto anyone but some people 
can get very frustrated that that all they can work out is is like you know symbols that don't aren't even representative of what they're seeing in front of them so you have to you have to push not even push you just you keep drawing and eventually one part of your brain will give up and then the part of your brain that is suited for this will pick it up and then you just start drawing my recommendation to get there is maybe like a couple free drawing exercises like all right, let, this is how I'm starting with everyone right now. Like, draw a circle. Everyone, draw a circle. Don't be afraid to fill up a whole page. Like, okay, oh, now I'm filling up a square, and I want my square to be more fleshy. So I'm, like, fleshing in my, 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 my square. And if you want, you can give it some dimension. Oh, now it's a cube, and the light's coming from this side. So I want to put, like, you know... If the light's coming here, that's why that side's dark and it's got to have a shadow underneath it. So there's a progression and that's kind of what it talks about in this book. The first thing is uh, detection of edges. So you, you have to learn how to draw lines. Like what is a hand? Like that's a hand. Oh, I've got the edges of my fingers. So then after that, then shapes. So you have to define this shape as separate from this so it's like do you want maybe you fill in the negative space so if i put in the space in between the fingers then on the page you can see that you know these are the fingers and that those aren't the fingers and then from there you can get into shading and more 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 but i feel like what i used to do with the kids who didn't have any experience with this the most important start way to, to start is to start so everyone start grab uh if you're if you don't have a piece of paper have a pen have a pencil charcoal uh paints on your wind on the on the computer ms paint whatever you call it something that can draw you can draw with uh i i would do portraits with the kids sorry i was trying to put this all together Five minutes. Let's just do five minutes. That's all I ask. Do five minutes a day and not worry about the actual drawing because that is not the purpose. The purpose isn't to get a good drawing out of this. The point is to train your eyeballs. This is what I would tell my kids. We're training ourselves to see the information and in order to translate it accurately, you have to perceive the information. So like, look at what you're drawing. And since we're drawing ourselves, we're going to look at ourselves while we draw. That is the most important part. What happened, you know, a, getting a drawing that is like a, just an after effect. That's just, you know, a nice thing that happens. But we, we need to practice drawing. Um, and this is just really wordy. So let's do five minutes. Uh, I'm using my phone as the camera, so I'm just going to use the, the clock as a timer. I also have, let's see, um, an hourglass, but no, I, I, I'm not getting up. Oh, it's right here. I It might be five minutes, but let's, yeah, I've got a, an hourglass. So five minutes going right now. We're just drawing ourselves and follow along with me. Like, what do I do? Do I first is I start out with like a circle. That's kind of, oh, there, there it is. That's my whole head. That's, I got it. And I see some shoulders there and i've got like a little bit of a hood i've got my nose the eyes go in the middle of the head so that's what i'm putting my my eyes in and you just you want to start out as really general all right very very general here's my hair there's my ear um start out by just blocking in some shapes uh, the darkest things don't go for any details we're not we're not going for any details at all right now other than just basic shapes I see like there's a little shadow in my nose I'm totally out of practice so this is just practice Oops, I broke my leg do you guys break leg were you the type who broke crayons because I knew people who were the type who 
person who broke her arms when they were kids and the other kids like judged for that so are you that type of person <laughs> um and enjoy yourself you know the reason why people draw is because you're looking at something like beautiful and you want to capture that moment you just that's what in like titanic oh draw me like your french girl it's because he likes staring at naked ladies and you know you just you you draw as you go it's you're just you're building a relationship with the object i guess if you want to objectify you know to experience that <laughs> Some people, which I agree, um, drawing is very touch oriented. So s see if you can like, you know, feel the texture and the angle while you're going. And, you know, if I'm drawing a circle, you got to feel how round or, you know, the edges. I'm starting to put in a little bit more detail. I got my eyes and my nose. I'm talking, so I'm doing my best to draw my mouth. Um, it doesn't even look like me. I have been drawn in forever. I'm out of practice. So this is really just about getting into the habit. You know, if you want to be good at drawing, drawing has to be a part of your life. You have to add it into your schedule. And I'm not saying like, oh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I draw for 20 minutes. It's just like, oh, you're sitting... I don't know, waiting for a commercial to end on the TV and you've got a pencil within reach, like, just draw something you're looking at. Draw yourself. I, I, if you can draw yourself, you can draw anything. And it is important to get into the whole anatomy. But that doesn't stop you from just drawing what you see like if you can write your name then you have the ability to draw children do it it's it's so intuitive and it's something that only comes with practice you know think of every adult who knows how to read and write if you were to ask them like how or why it's it's kind of a weird question because everyone is already so no it's it's not something that everyone used to be able to do like being able to read and write is a big deal but it's so casual but if you were to ask an adult to draw they oh uh, i can't draw it's like you would look at them like a child because like their drawings would look like a like a three-year-old because that's where they're developed when you're about five years old your ego starts creating symbols for things in order to like save you time and energy when you're trying to figure out what's going on in the world so if i were to try to draw an eye your symbol oriented brain would just be like okay almond with a circle and an eyebrow but when you try to draw and that's even a fine place to start you know kids do it because that's a natural place to develop you gotta move across the stepping stone just don't stay there you know just like spend more time looking at your eye because then you'd see oh wait you know there's an eyelid and you can draw that and the next day you can realize wait there's eyelashes on the eyelid and when you start out you can kind of be overwhelmed about where to begin and that's because any place is a good place to begin you know that's what we did with the first exercise with the drawing the circle you know drawing the square it doesn't even have to be that much you can just scribble and you should you should do that you know I've filled up almost entire books of scribbles where just for in like five minutes where you're going so fast that the, you start ripping through the pages and there's there's a part of you that's like, uh oh, you know, that's not how they taught you. You, you have to draw inside the lines.
but you you don't really you know if you're driving a car yes you have to stay inside the lines but that's not what we're doing here you're just expressing yourself through pigmentation and that is uh, yeah. freeing freeing um it's been about seven minutes i'm still going i don't really feel the need to stop um that's kind of what i was thinking about earlier where i was like oh i can flip the timer but then like not look at the timer because the important part isn't that i'm getting the drawing done in five minutes the point is that i'm drawing for five minutes um you can even stop before five minutes you can draw for one minute but maybe the next time that you draw and you get to one minute you'd be like i drew for one minute last time let's draw for one minute and 10 seconds and get up get up to five minutes that's how i worked with my kids i would be like dude just draw for five i'm setting the timer for five minutes and you draw for five minutes no one no one is talking they would try to talk to each other and they would try to like whisper and play games they would try to make their own rules and i would be like everybody zip it you are drawing for five minutes and there's nothing obviously you know let's not get crazy but like there's nothing you can do about it we're drawing for five minutes and if they obviously some kids still had a hard time so move down draw for 30 seconds um this is almost getting into an instructional video about how to teach kids how to draw uh but hey um that's why i started being an art teacher first it was because trump the, the second trump was voted i was like into office I, I said that's it you know we can't really trust the system i have to help raise the next generation so i took a job teaching i like lucked into it but i got in a, a, a really nice the the kids every maybe maybe that's everyone who worked with kids oh i have the best kids and they teach me so much about life and you know, I just, I wanted to be a better artist and I wanted to get better at drawing. And if you want to learn how to do something, you teach. Because then people start asking questions and then you start trying to describe what you're doing and you start to realize that, you know, that some, some things are more involved and some things you don't have to worry about. And I'm kind of getting to the end of my drawing. Uh, the video is 56 minutes, so that means we have four minutes left of class. Uh... The really the last thing that you want to do is is just define the edge uh, I used to not really count it as a self-portrait unless the face um, recognition in Facebook would pick up my drawing and it would put like a little box uh, or like a square on the face and it would capture the, the picture the face and I was like no way like that was such good validation um but yeah i guess this is me um as a bunny let's put your little mouse tooth down here and i'm gonna darken my my uh almost like naruto you know uh whiskers and you know i know there are some things you just get used to like there are shadows around your nose and by your eyes where i almost don't even have to look at myself because you become familiar with it you know i got familiar doing the butterflies not because i the first time i pinned my perfect butterfly it's like i had to go through sev several butterflies but that's done i'm gonna what do you do when you're done everybody with your drawing you name you put your name and your signature i'm gonna do jsj with a little butterfly smiley face that's like my signature and then you put the date so we've got november 17 2020 i'm gonna put you know other if you're posting it on in a gallery you would say like pencil on notebook paper but clearly you can see that so i'm not gonna write it the last thing i do i'm gonna do a combination of things when i was with my kids the last the way i would finish the the class is with a poetry slam and they would always surprise me you know the shyest kid who never wanted to speak would, would be the one who would come up with like the best poem and it would be about like 
a, a, lem, a, lem, a lemonade list of like a grocery list for lemonade but I would make them like stand up on their chair and they would read it with such pride so uh, kids will surprise you you ask them to be a leader and they'll turn out so you know we have it's an hour long so let's just write a quick poem you know uh, bunnies pinning butterflies bunnies foo foos pinning butterflies online no joke hashtag what do we want to hashtag Hashtag what? Hashtag question. Hashtag follow. Hashtag like. Hashtag subscribe. So here's like a really bad drawing of me. Um, a long time ago, I wanted to get good at drawing and there were people online who were really interested in this thing called the 365 project they did it with photography but you can do it with drawing you can do it with anything and it's kind of similar to uh, Jerry Seinfeld's don't break the chain creating content playing basketball whatever if you want it in your life you need to add it to your life in some way and if you can make it a habit do it after some el something else that's a habit that you already do, like do it after breakfast or after you brush your teeth or going through a doorway, anything. Add it to your life in the smallest way possible. The more you want to do this, the more motivation you have, like the easier it'll be for a habit to take on. But otherwise, just like start off small and keep it, keep it in your life. So once again, thank you for coming to my channel. Follow, like, subscribe. What do we do here? Uh, painting our faces. We're mounting and pinning the butterflies and creating stuff. Oops, I don't want to dump what we just made, but you know, stuff like this. And eventually we'll draw a, a maybe like a realer portrait that actually looks better and is, is more than like what was that? That was like a five, ten minute drawing, so. What else would you like to see in an art class? I'm not promising that we're going to do it, but it's already been over. I talked a lot for this video, but so far it seems like what we're going to be doing is some sort of body art. Uh, I, I really want to do henna. I've got these really good... Um, you know sharpie markers that's what's all that's all over my hand um so i think what i might end up doing next is like a henna work where you draw that kind of stuff but that's only if we have time because we really need to focus on the important stuff which is uh you know oh well i guess the henna we'll start that's how i got into this face henna whatever body art making the butterflies whether that's pinning we just did enough pinning, so the next time we're going to wait a couple days for them to dry out. Then we're going to glue them. I'll show you how to make a shadow box, and then we're going to make a better one than what we've got here. Uh, you know, add it all to my Instagram. Join me on Instagram, Butterfly Square Garden. If you think that butterflies are cool and you want the habitat to grow and to have a better sanctuary that reaches more people, Feel free to donate any amount of money. My PayPal is linked to just about every account and every video. So just making everything accessible. Uh, I just want to show you guys the butterflies one more time before we go. If I take you off the tripod, I can actually squeeze you guys in the habitat, which I did for the first video, but I had to start over. So. Ooh, ooh, that's going all over me. Hello, everybody. This is what it looks like um, in a little butterfly habitat. We've got some broccoli I just flowered around on. So we're like hanging up there. 
And then there is the butterfly feeder and the Thanksgiving setup, and that's where they lay their eggs, and that's their little, uh, it's like a chandelier made out of pipe cleaners and uh, Velcro, because they are the thistle, that's what they're known as, the thistle butterfly. So I just had extra um, Velcro that I ordered by accident because I wanted to make an enclosure and it didn't it didn't work so i ended up just not using it but that's what we do we make stuff so what fun what fun uh this is what we do during covid we talk to each other i would have never gotten this far with everything if it weren't for not leaving the house you know at first that thought bothered me of like not leaving but that's just the way that the world used to be before we had cars before we had phones before we had anything people would just like hang out in the garden and they would feed the birds and talk to each other so maybe we're just starting to figure out the way the world would work without you know I don't even have to get into it. Like, let's just make something nice for each other. I hope you could hear everything. Uh, I'm trying to save up for a better microphone and we've had a lot of fun here. Hopefully the video isn't too long. I hope it uploads. Go YouTube, go Twitch, go Facebook, go Instagram. And if there's anything else we can talk about, I'm probably gonna make a list of questions so I can answer some stuff and so it's you know we can get to know each other better so yeah that's how you do what i do and maybe maybe you can make your own better butterfly habitat ethically like you gotta there's a learning curve but like be nice to them and we can share share stuff with each other because this is all about building a community so what i'm, I'm like a furry i've dated a furry they're nice. It's like a, a wonderful community, and they wrote the best fan fiction. But, yep. Anyways, uh, look at me. I'm I'm a f in between. Peace and love, and wash your hands, and wear a mask. Signing out. Next time, maybe we'll have music. But I'm enjoying the way that we talk so far. Okay, it's gonna take all day to upload this video, but see you next time. Bye. What do you want? What do you guys want to call yourselves? Butterfly Buddies is the name that comes in. That's the word that falls out of my mouth, but I haven't chosen it, and I'm not going to choose it. So, Unless you guys like that better than anything else, you can vote on it or be a democracy. But Bye for now. I just love this. You say bye. No, you bye. No, you bye. You say bye first. You say bye first. Bye.